Hey guys, go some for the one here. Ah, yeah, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a Wi-Fi battle. This is with my friend Brandon, also known as Pokemines. And as you see, he does not have that much power on his. Well, every Pokemon is powerful, but he kind of has like a. I think most of his Pokemon are at least NU and UU, except for his Charizard X. Yes, that's a Charizard X. It's OU. As you can see, my power, my team has a lot of power on it. That Mega Tyranitar, Town Flame, Rotom Wash, that bulky, bulky Blissey, and yeah. So let's get into this battle. This battle was actually, I was surprised. I thought I was at least gonna get five, like five O Brandon or uh, six O him, but he he did pretty good with that team. I he caught me off guard. So anyways. I sent out Talonflame, he sends out his Garvantula, I predict him to go for Sticky Web, so I just go for U- or I predict him to go for Thunder, so I go for U-Turn, because I was like, I'm not getting any of that, and he goes for U-Turn too, so I was like, why didn't he either go for Sticky Webs or Thunder? It was just confusing to me, I didn't understand that play there, but he threw me off guard, so that was actually surprising. So he brings out his, oh, his OU, also known as Charizard X. And he mega evolves here, and I switch out into my Weezing, predicting that he would either go for an Earthquake or a Dragon Claw. Either of those I can take because I'm I have Levitate as my ability. No Earthquake and Dragon Claw, I can take it for days because Weezing's bulky as crap. In his physical physical side, on the physical side, but I go for the um, what's it called? The Hey guys, go some for the one here. Oh yeah, and welcome back to another. Hey guys, go some for the one here. Oh yeah, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a Wi-Fi battle. This is against my friend Brandon, also known as Pokemines. As you can see, his team has not really much OU. Only has one OU Pokemon, his Charizard X. The rest are UU and NU. And as you can see, I have a pretty OU team. Half of them really aren't because Weezing isn't. I'm pretty sure um, half half is OU, half isn't. Pretty sure Blissey isn't OU. So anyways, let's get into this battle. In this battle, Brennan threw me off a lot with his plays. I don't know if they were either him trying to confuse me or he's just not that good at battling anymore. So anyways, he leads off with the Scarvantula. I predict that and go out to my Talonflame. And I'm like, wait a second, I can get Thunder here. So I'm like, I want none of that. So I go for the U-turn here. And I predict him going for the Thunder. So I switch out to my Swagsy my Blissey, and he actually goes for Volt Switch, I was like, okay, that's the weirdest play I've ever seen in my life, I thought you were going for Compound Eyes, Thunder, or Sticky Webs, so anyways, he sends out his Zard X, of course it's a Zard X, why would you send it against Blissey if it was a Zard Y, would you do shit all, so I send out Bacterian, my Weezing, and I'm like, I could take these hits for days, he can't Earthquake me, and I can take Dragon Claws, so anyways, um, what did I go for here? I went for, I go, went for, he went for Will-O-Wisp, and I'm like, nah, I'm avoiding that. And then he goes for Roost, predicting that I would go first. Surprisingly, I didn't. So, I go for the Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, hoping to get poisoned. I got none of that. And he hits with a will o -Wisp here. So, he goes for Roost, trying to outstall me with that, um, what's it called? The Will-O-Wisp, and I go for a Flamethrower. I know that's a weird play, but... Uh, I want to try to get the burn off of him because I know I can the flame flamethrower, flamethrower, but I can't with Lewis. So, anyways, he goes for the Dragon Claw. I go for the Sludge Bomb again. Or, or, I mean the flamethrower. Sorry about that, guys. And I take a little bit of damage from that Lewis there. He uses Roost again. I go for Pain Splint. He's lack. He was actually surprised about this play. He did not expect me 
to go for paint split here. He didn't know I had paint split actually. So he goes for da Dragon Claw. And this is pretty much a back and forth battle right now. I do actually lose it. Weezing does go down. Because I was like, I gotta sacrifice him at some point. So he goes for a Dragon Claw. I go for uh, another pain split here. And right around here, he go, he just kills me. Because I'm like, I can't take these hits anymore. I gotta sac sacrifice something so I can send something out to kill this Charizard. X, so I sacrifice my Bacterian here. Probably not the smartest play because... I did need him for most of his physical threats on his team, like the Sock and the Primeape. So I send out Darud here, I'm like, eh, I could probably take at least one Earthquake and get off a of Dragon Dance. So I go for a Dragon Dance here and he switches out, so I'm like, okay, Fruit D-Dance, I'm, I'm fine with that. So I go for the Dragon Dance here, and I also go for the Mega Evolution, so I got that Defense Boost, that Attack Boost, and the Extra Speed Boost, plus the D-Dance. So I'm like, I'm sitting here pretty here right now. I go for the Earthquake because I'm like, isn't this going to be super effective? And it wasn't surprisingly because I didn't know that Grass actually resisted Earthquake or er Ground types in general. So I go for another D-Dance because I'm like, oh, I got to get some more defense boost. He goes for the Stealth Rock and gains a little bit of that leftover HP. He switches out here into his Prime Ape, hoping that he could take a hit from my or at least take out my Tyranitar and he does not because Crunch is like nope oh, I'm gonna kill you easily so his prime might goes down because of the sandstorm damage then sends out his sock so I'm like ah, I could sweep it sweep his team from here and then I use earthquake and I forgot sock had sturdy and he kills me with close combat close combat close combat here sorry about that guys and I'm like Dang it, I didn't know that. I really need Tyrantar in this battle. I don't know. I was like, I was scared at this point. I didn't know what to do because I did need him for his Clang Clang and all of his other Pokemon. So I send out Town Flame. I'm like, ah, uh, Rock's damage is going to hurt. So I go for the Brave Bird because I'm like, I'm not going to take that much recoil damage because he only has one HP left. He sends out his OU and I'm like, well, that I guess that was a sacrificial, sacri sacrificial play. And he was like, nah. I thought he was gonna live. I'm like, okay. So I get, I proc that citrus, citrus berry right there, and he's like, oh damn, I didn't know you would run that set. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's a weird set. Not many people run citrus berry, but yeah. So I take out my town flame, go back into my spike seat, because I'm like, I'm taking none of that rock slide damage from that cradley, or cradley, whatever you want to call it. So spike seat takes a lot of damage there, considering it's supposed to be super bulky. So he sent, or takes out his Daisy, and sends into his Clang Clang, and right here I'm like, okay, he he swept my team. So I go for a flamethrower. I'm like, no, nah, it's not gonna do nothing. I was hoping for burn, did not happen. He goes for shift gear. I'm like, okay, it's GG from here. He's gonna sweep me with shift gear. He's gonna sweep my whole team because I I can't take him out. I don't have anything except for my Talon Flame. But I want to save my Blissey. But he goes for Wild Charge and he's like, YOLO, right? I'm like, why didn't you go for Shift Gear, Brandon? He could have killed me. He could have swept my whole team. I would have been dead. Whatever, he didn't go for it. I should have went for a Soft Boil there, but I did not. He goes down, sends back out Saw because he's like, I'm going to kill his Blissey. I want to kill it so badly. So I'm like, nah, you won't give my Blissey today. So I send in my Hitmonchan because I'm like, sacrificial play, sacrificial play. And surprisingly... It wasn't. Hitmonchan actually took this knockoff. I was surprised with the knockoff. Thought he would have went for the close combat, which he didn't. I go for the mock punch, taking out that sock, and I'm like, Hitmonchan's a pro right now. He's taking out a lot of threats, or taking out that threat. So he sends out his Carvantula. I'm like, ah, oh, he's going for the thunder. So I go for mock punch. He actually goes for sticky webs, and I'm like, okay, okay. So I go for another mock punch. I should have went for close combat or. Uh, ice beam at the beginning and he misses the thunder with compound eyes. I'm like, okay, hacks are real. So I go for another monk punch, taking out his Garbantula. All he has left is his Crayodily. And I go for the close combat. I'm like, YOLO! Taking it down to at least 10% health. And he goes for the Giga Drain. I'm like, okay, I'm dead. And I'm like, dang, that thing's bulky as crap. So I go for another close combat here, taking out his Daisy. 
and taking out his last Pokemon. So GG Brandon, well played. That was actually a good battle. I God, you threw me off a few times there with your plays. I was surprised. Hopefully we can battle again. Maybe you'll kick my ass next time, but I doubt it because I, I, I got better. You can't beat me anymore. So anyways, I'm going to end off the video here, guys. If you guys like this video, leave a like down below. Um, tell me about my commentary, because I know this is my first Wi-Fi battle commentary thing. It was not the greatest, but it's my first one. What do you expect? So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button and comment down.